Happy New Year, happy January. Oh my gosh, this month is already over. Oh, it's gone so fast. So what have been my top sellers in January? Let's find out. First off, I wanna say that if you are new to having a Cricut or vinyl, or vinyl cutting machine and you haven't made a lot of money yet, don't worry because January is a hard month to sell. I'm telling you, unless you sell weight loss products, it's hard to make a whole lot of sales in January. One of the things that I start very early in January is gearing up for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, of course, is the middle of February, but it goes by really fast. And so I like to get some of those pre-orders really rolling in. So this year I'm offering underwear, I'm also offering a few things like glass etched mugs and flasks and a few other little things like that. So um, go ahead and get your pre-orders for Valentine's Day. If you're watching this now, really hit Valentine's Day hard because honestly, the majority of your sales come the first few weeks and even up to the last few days. Um, those last minute orders are, are, always, are always big. So make sure um, you get those Valentine's things listed right now so that you can get all the orders. So other than that, it's really been a random hodgepodge month. Like I feel like I kind of took a couple weeks off and just like rested after the holiday season and didn't do a whole lot of orders, but I did have a lot of people who were actually selling or who were actually celebrating Christmas in January, maybe the 1st of January or something like that. So I did have a few late Christmas orders and um, that I had to do. I also did some random things. I had several people uh, messaging me about some things that aren't really vinyl, but like we do woodworking and so some benches and different things. So some home decorating projects. It has really been a random month for sales, but it has also been a slow month for sales. Like I said, it always is. I knew coming into January that it was going to be. So for those of you who just got a cricket or maybe your, your New Year's resolution was to build your business and go hard at it and then January got here and you're like, what? Why am I not making any money? Don't worry because February is coming and the sales are starting. My best tips for January are to get reorganized. If you sold last year, I always spend January getting my desk back reorganized because things didn't get put back into those places during the holiday mad rush. I always make sure I'm washing all of my mats to make sure that they're re-sticky. I'm restocking on supplies because I'm always low on all of my HTV vinyl, all of my Oracle uh, vinyl, all, all of the vinyl I'm always low on. I'm getting more transfer paper. I'm doing all of these things. Some of my mats, if they're just really, really, then I'm, I'm recycling them out. I'm really bad about never throwing them out. They just kind of get pushed to the back and then I'll use them for craft mats for <laughs> things later but uh, don't be like me just go ahead and, and replace them they're not that expensive but just really um, stock up on the things that you're going to need take inventory of what you have because that's another thing it gets kind of messy and I'm like what shirts do I have what cups do I have what what do I have extra of what do I not have extra of it's also a good time to focus on what you're gonna sell for the year. What's your game plan? What's your game plan for February? What's your game plan moving on? Like, do you wanna uh, focus on holiday things? Do you wanna focus on woodworking things? Do you wanna focus on, and when I say woodworking things, we combine woodworking and vinyl things together. You guys know that. But if you wanna focus on t-shirts, what do you really wanna focus on this month or this year? Another thing that has sold fairly well, like I joked in the beginning of the video of weight loss products, uh, personalized water bottles. People who are into fitness and trying to get back on track and even as the month ends, that's a great product to offer because now's when they're starting to struggle. Now's when they're going to need the things like it might be a personalized water bottle, a glass water bottle or a stainless steel water bottle or something that they can run with or maybe it's a, I did um, towels um, because one year, uh, 
we were all working out together and the towels at the gym are always kind of weird or whatever. So I bought these like hand towels to use to like wipe our faces for my group that I was working out with and I heat pressed our names on them. And it was just a really, it was a really fun way to know which one was our towel. And it can just be those little things that can motivate people to keep on with their goals. And that can be a really big seller in January. Anyway, guys, I know that January is hard. I know that this video hasn't been overly helpful because it is always a hodgepodge of things that sell in January and February will be better. But this is one of the kind of videos that I want to offer you guys, like some encouragement that I want to offer you guys of, and some inspiration of, oh, I never thought about selling that, or that might be good, or this might be good. And anyway, we can just grow our businesses together and we can just, you know, help each other out. The idea is that we all succeed. And anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, Leave me a comment, what were some of your best sellers? What are some of the things that you're gonna offer for Valentine's Day? It changes from year to year. Um, yeah, just let me know your plans and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching guys, bye.